Hello dear students, how are you? Uh, today we are going to continue about uh, activity 4 in chapter 5, chromosomal abnormalities and we are going to solve uh, an exercise okay, from the national book, national textbook Okay, تقريبا شبيه بالامتحان الرسمي about uh, chromosomal abnormalities and how to compare them خصوصا in case of structural chromosomal abnormalities In the previous video I talked about uh, the formation of gametes formation of gametes in case of autosomal وقلنا انه in case of autosomal due to disjunction or gonosomal whatever يعني بس انا حكيت بالتفصيل عن الاوتوزومال disjunction in meiosis 1 or meiosis 2 non disjunction non separation of chromatids or chromosomes okay either in anaphase 2 or anaphase 1 the same with the sex chromosomes طيب هلا حدا بيقول طيب gonosomal abnormalities are due to what شو سببهم بالحقيقه كمان they are caused by abnormal gametes abnormal gametes produced by abnormal meiosis observe in this case this is a, an oogonium خلينا نعتبرها oogonium mother of oocyte after meiosis 1 each X chromosome will separate into one cell then during meiosis 2 each gamete has one X chromosome only one N however If there is non-disjunction, a problem in the separation of chromosomes during anaphase of meiosis 1, okay, the two chromosomes will go to migrate toward one side, بروحوا اثنيناتهم ب one cell, والثاني بتبقى فاضية. So these two cells will have no X chromosome. ما في بقلبون X, no X chromosome. وبهيدي بيطلع في two instead of one. Okay. Here now we have a non disjunction at the level of anaphase 2. This is normal gametes, two normal gametes of a female. However, here we have the two uh, non sister chromatids, of the two sister chromatids of uh, the semi chromosome X are not separated. Okay, let's talk about the male now. Male spermatogonium and the X Y. X Y normally separate. In meiosis 1, then in meiosis 2, chromatids of X separate and the chromatids of Y separate. Okay, here in this one, here there is abnormality or abnormal or no disjunction, no separation of X and Y from each other during anaphase 1 of meiosis 1. Man fasalo, farahu tnainatum be one cell. Baden, hinnit tnainatum be one cell. Okay, taban, they will separate from each other. The chromatids of X will separate and the chromatids of Y will separate from each others. Fabtijil X in cell will Y in cell. Okay, like this. X and Y together here and X and Y together here. So here we have a small uh, error. في خطأ صغير بالصورة. This is X and this is should be Y. You can correct it. And this is X. And this is why you can correct it. However, the second gamete is empty, evacuated, without any chromosome. Okay. طيب هلا what happens if this gamete, هاي دل empty, عملت fertilization مع هاي دل empty sperm with empty ovum, the zygote will be without any sex chromosome, so it will be aborted quickly. However, here there is abnormal. Meiosis 2, anaphase 2, can't the anaphase 1 is normal. Here the anaphase 2, man fasalo. The chromatids, be you two in a cell, and the second is empty. And it's clear that also there is abnormal anaphase 2. So the two Y went on its own, and the second is empty. Now let's continue. Let's going. Let's go to solve an exercise about the chromosomal abnormality in your national textbook. So guys, let's solve this exercise. Exercise six. Uh, on your books page 109 I think okay let's read you have uh, to read this exercise I'm barely a couple having a normal phenotype gave birth to abnormal child couple with normal phenotype okay listen to the keywords normal phenotype they are normal they gave birth to abnormal child okay first of all we have to study their karyotype but this is the karyotype 
Examination of the karyotypes of this family revealed the disorder found only in the father and the child in the chromosome pair 5 and the 12, the document below. The remaining pairs were all normal. So we neglect the pairs of the children. We have an abnormality in the type of father in chromosome 5 and uh, of pair 5 and pair 12. So we took the karyotype of the mother, you see here, two copies of a chromosome 5 who the mother is normal okay لانه ما جاب لي سيرتا يعني هي نورمال هو اصولي قال له انه هي نورمال the father and the child child is abnormal you know given abnormal and the father is normal because هو قال لي شو نورمال فينوتايب هلا اوريدي حتى الماذر قال لي هي نورمال بس قال لي انه الفاذر في مشكله بالكاريوتايب اللي له يو سي هير The father has two, two chromosomes, five, but one is normal. This one is normal. How did I know who is normal? Normal, like the mother. Normal. The second one is shorter. It's very short. Why short? Because there is a, there is a missing piece here. في قطع رايحة. وين هالقطع رايحة لايك وين قاعدة؟ قاعدة على كبامسام تويلف. So chromosome 12, one is longer than the other, unlike the normal female. Normal female عندها اثنين مثل بعضهم. لا يكون ميل عنده واحد أطول من الثاني. So let's observe in the abnormal child. عنده two chromosomes, number five, same as the mother, normal. And one chromosome, same as the mother. But the second chromosome is taken from the father. ما أخذ من الباي. يعني في مشكلة. This child has... Two copies of a chromosome five and two copies of a chromosome twelve with an extra with an extra piece of a chromosome five. يعني عنده كاريوتايب عادي وزيادة معه شقفي من كروموسوم خمسة. This leads to abnormality. So the first question is compare the chromosome pairs five and the twelve of the father and the child to those of the mother. I have to compare the pairs of chromosomes. تبعون الولد والبي مع تبعون الام اوكي سو هاو تو كومبير ان ذا فيرست بارت اي هاف تو ساي ذا ثري كاريوتايبس لوك بثري كاريوتايبس الماذر الفاذر اند ذا تشايلد هاف تو كابيز اوف كروموسوم 15 اند 12 ثلاثتهم عندهم تو كابيز اوف كروموسوم 15 اند 12 وير ذا تو كابيز ان ذا نورمال ماذر اوف 5 اوف ذا سيم بات ان ذا فاذر وان از شورتر ذان ذا اذر ويتش از ذا سيم از ذا ماذر اوكي And in child, the two chromosomes are the same as the mother. So I have to say, you know, two five chromosomes, two chromosomes, number five in the mother, with child, نفس الشيء, but in the father, في واحد فيهم نفس الشيء, والثاني shorter. Okay. Also, in chromosome number twelve, two the same in the mother, and with respect, أو خليني أقول same as in the father, one chromosome twelve is same as the mother. But one is longer than the other, okay? Similarly, in the child, one copy of a chromosome 12 longer than that of the mother. mother. Okay? So we can read it. The three karyotypes, mother, father, and the child, have two copies of each chromosome 5 and 12. Where in the mother, the two copies of a chromosome 5 are homologous, the same. And those of chromosome 12 are homologous. But the father has one copy of a chromosome 5 similar to the mother, while the second copy is shorter. Also, the father has one copy of a chromosome 12 similar to the mother, while the other is longer. واحدة مثلها بس تانية longer. On the other hand, the child has one normal copy of chromosome 5. ليش قلت normal مثل مثل الفاذر. Mother, sorry. Similar to the mother, whereas he has... One normal copy of a chromosome 12, same as the father, but the copy, other copy, is longer. Okay, the second question. Observe here the father. In your opinion, why the father is normal? Based on your acquired knowledge, explain the presence of the norm, abnormal phenotype in the child and the absence of this phenotype in the father. Why the child is abnormal and the father is normal, although both have translocation? Look here, in the father, a missing part of 5 is translocated into 12. 
there is no gain or loss of genetic information لا في زيادة ولا في نقصان بالgenetic information يعني all genetic information is conserved أو genetic information is conserved however in the child عنده 2-5 normal 1-12 normal و 12 الثاني normal بس زيادة عليه with extra extra segment of 5 so he has gained genetic information Okay, so in this case, how to justify? Look, طلعوا كتير مهم هون. The father is normal because he has no gain, no loss of genetic information. هي ضرورة أولى. Okay, due to the equilibrated translocation of segment of chromosome 5 over chromosome 12. عنده equilibrated يعني انتقال متوازن يعني ما في خسارة وما في زيادة. Also, the number of chromosomes is conserved. No abnormal chromosomal number. أهم شيء إحكي عن genetic information. On the other hand, the child has is abnormal because he has excess in genetic information. You see, this is the excess. Okay, ماشي excess in genetic information, where an extra segment of chromosome five is attached to chromosome twelve, although he has to. Normal copies of chromosome 5. مع انه عنده two normal copies بس المشكلة مش فيهم، المشكلة بهيدي الاكسترا بارت. طيب. Do you know how to get or how to draw the gametes of father and mother to obtain this child؟ خلينا انا وياكم نحاول نرسم الجاميتس اللي اجى منهم هيدا التشايلد. Okay, you see here, this is the normal mother. Am means mother has two copies of chromosome five, two copies of chromosome twelve. She will give one type of gamete, five with the twelve. However, here this is the father. The father has two copies normal of chromosome five and two copies of chromosome twelve. Okay, here this is a five with the missing segment. في شق في هون طيب من ال five اعدي على ال twelve. Okay. This father will produce two gametes only, one five or four gametes, one five, okay, normal five with the twelve, normal five with the twelve and extra copy, okay, short five with the twelve and short five with the twelve and extra copy. I'm going to name them. Five, twelve. Hey, the five normal. مع twelve plus. عليها extra copy. اتمدت انه first with first, first with second. دك مبدأ الجميتس. This is five minus ناقص شقفي مع twelve normal and five minus مع twelve plus. In your opinion, which gamet gave this child? أي جميت أعطتني هيدا child two normal five and one twelve with extra copy. Two normal five. يعني واحدة من هوت نين فيها تو نورمال فايف اوكي طيب this one you see here إذا عملت fertilization we will obtain the following gamete two normal five two normal five twelve and the twelve with extra copy اوكي five twelve twelve with extra copy so here we have The four gametes. طيب إذا أخذت هاي الجاميت. This gamete is normal or not? I consider this gamete is normal. عند five minus twelve plus. ما الشقف اللي طالع من ال five قاعد على twelve. فإذا عملت fertilization مع normal gamete رح يطلع مثل البي. The same as the father. Okay. So إن شاء الله in the next video we are going to continue about document five, which is prenatal diagnosis and how to diagnose كيف من شخص الولد. الفيتس uh, before its birth of the embryo for its birth if he has any chromosomal abnormality.